Company Secretary, guys. So Principal 10, we already know that Principal 10 covers the CEO, but we've already addressed that with the Board of Directors. So when I'm looking at Principal 10, I'm just looking at it from the Company Secretary perspective. And it says here, they need to have somebody who can help them with their professional duties and legal duties. And that is the Company Secretary. The Board will appoint, remunerate, and remove the company secretary, which aligns with the Companies Act. And they will annually evaluate their performance, which was also on your previous slide. So looking at principle 10, he has everything with the CEO that I've said. You can come have a look here, who the CEO can and can't be, and who, what committees he can and can't be on. And then you've got somebody responsible for helping them with their professional corporate governance services. And then they explain it to being the company secretary. Okay. Governance of risk. Governance of information technology. Governance of compliance with applicable laws. And stakeholder governance, guys. Look here. They all have the same duties, barring some specific. So when you look at the duties, they're going to say, the governing body is responsible to approve the policy that deals with risk, information technology, compliance with laws, stakeholder governance. Then, they will delegate to management the implementation of that policy. Then, they will exercise oversight over that function. And, they must make sure there's adequate disclosure. The arrangements for governance, key focus areas, action to be taken, and plan future areas. Have a look quickly. Approve the policy, delegate it to management. Have the adequate disclosure. Approve the policy for laws and regulations, delegate it to management. Have general oversight and adequate disclosure, the exact same adequate disclosure. And for our stakeholders, approve the policy, Delegate it to management, have general oversight, and have adequate disclosure. The exact same disclosure. So if you're comfortable with the general aspects of this, then you've got the governance of, the, well, the additional governance functions addressed. Okay, so just so we can see who is responsible for what. So looking at the... Risk governance, you can see their board is responsible and they must approve the policy. However, delegation will be to management. They will generally exercise oversight as the board and then make sure that there is the necessary disclosure. For IT governance, just some specifics that are added here. How, what do they need to do with regards to information and technology governance? They must monitor and identify information technology risks. They must assess the value derived from investments from IT. They must responsibly dispose of IT equipment if it's obsolete and monitor security and private information of employees, of suppliers, of customers. But other than that, have a policy, delegate it to management, and have adequate disclosure. Okay, if you look at the information technology, you'll see lots of specifics with regards to the oversight. Okay, and I've only highlighted the ones that I feel are going to be the most relevant when it comes to potentially being tested. Okay, governance of laws and regulations. You can see all the standard ones and then just some 
additional work, they must understand the compliance requirements and monitor if there are any changes. Okay, you can see, approve the policy, delegate it to management, have general oversight, which is continuously monitoring. And then disclosure requirements. Just note, I have added here, if they are repeatedly offending these laws and regulations, they need to disclose that. And I've put that in here. Okay, as additional for adequate disclosure. Let's quickly finish with the stakeholders because we've already said the same policy approval, but then for general oversight I've added that they must communicate with stakeholders at the AGM is a great time. They must be available to discuss and meet with the shareholders and potentially this being at the AGM and measure the quality of their stakeholder relationships. Stakeholders are anybody, shareholders, employees, the community, anybody who's affected by this company. Okay, and then you can see standard is that they're responsible for it, they must approve the policy, they must delegate it to management, they must have that general oversight, and then they must disclose those requirements. Okay, let's do the assurance next. 